Now, a few weeks ago, Stephen Mulhern managed to find a way into our studio and cause absolute mayhem in an unforgettable cookery segment with Holly and Bill and James Martin. <laughs> well, someone right. thought it was a great idea to get him back in the studio today. Well, listen, do you know what? First of all, thank you for asking me on. Secondly, by the way, I thought James Martin was going to punch me in the face. <laughs> he was so angry. Well, he doesn't like it if they tell him, like, you've only got one yeah, minute left. so true. Like, oh, no, I've got one minute yeah, <laughs> so I, I can't take... imagine how he reacted to you. Well, I said to him afterwards, I said, listen, I'm so sorry, but he seemed to take it after that, which is fine. He's a good lad. All right, oh, uh, Stephen is here to brighten up our uh, Saturday nights with a brand new series of In For A Penny. Take a look. Welcome. This is the brand new series of In for a Penny. Ready or not? About to go down. Um, down. And yes, it is C2. Keep your eyes closed. Two ladies could be in. Hello. Ooh. Hello. It's actually a really good game. Can I use my hands to throw it? Well, yeah, what else are you going to use? You gotta get more. Close your legs, ma'am. Are you actually putting this in? Yeah, this will definitely make it. Oh, <laughs> it's going to be unbelievable. Oh, and here he is. Third series, mate. Do you know what? I, I'm over the moon. When, when we first started, it was uh, like an item on Saturday Night Takeaway, and then it just grew and grew. We did it in America, now, now here. You How know. did you get that as pitched? How did you even get that on TV? Well, the thing was, it was only a small item on Don't Saturday Night like Takeaway. Don't ask it like that. That's I, 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 I want to know. <laughs> How in the world <laughs> did this <laughs> end up on television? I'm so, I'm so in awe of that that you actually did that. No, I'm just... I think it's a yeah, nice thing. Sure. Uh, no, <laughs> seriously, I'm so happy. You I'm it, more then. amazed that we haven't won a BAFTA. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't smell a BAFTA, but hey-ho. <laughs> um, but honestly, the people of uh, people of Great Britain, they seem to love it, and, and I love doing it. And I think I've always said it, members of the public, uh, they give more than, than people on the TV because oh, yeah. they've got nothing to hide, they've got nothing to worry about. So they just go for it. Honestly, I've got to say, it's one of my favourite shows, I'm not going to lie. Oh, thank you. I always put it on my Instagram live because I literally laugh out loud. It's yeah. so, so funny. And you're so rude with the general public, it just works. What? <laughs> Um, endearing, it endearingly. It's endearingly <laughs> like, sure. rude, but they love it. They like when you're really rude to them. It's so good. Well, I think the bonus about the show is whether you're eight, whether you're 18, whether you're 88, everyone can enjoy it. And also, can... everyone's in on the joke. That's yeah. the lovely thing. So and, it's and not a mean show at all. I completely agree. And I think the bonus, again, is that is that we say to them afterwards, you know, is, are you OK with everything? And if they weren't, we just wouldn't do it. But, uh, but they are. Was you good. a little bit worried with the fact that we were in COVID? Obviously, we've got a distance and stuff like that. Yeah. Was you thinking, oh, my God, should I go for another series? To be honest, um, when we were talking about it, because obviously safety comes first with everything, especially with the pandemic, so everything had to be socially distanced. And I didn't think the game would work as well. The reality is, as you can see from our new game, their Sausage Roll, which you'll see tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, um, <laughs> it just works. I'm going to go as far to say this series is better than any previous series, How without fail. Would you, why'd you put, what do you put that down to? I put it down to us having to sit around the table and come up with brand new games. Right. Because we would be happy with the games that you've seen in Series 1 and Series 2, but they all had to change. Apart from the classics, because you're pumping up, you can play on your own, any of those sort of games. But other games like Sausage Roll that you just saw a glimpse of there, the basic idea is someone that lies down, you put a sausage roll at their feet, you roll it up, you've got to get it all up their body, and you've got to try and get it oh. in their mouth. Oh, it's a bit rude, isn't oh, it? By the way, as you're watching that, by the way, that's a mum and son. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, not sausage roll in particular, but does some of the games appeal to your magician's instinct? In, in what, what do you mean? Well, in the sort of, you know, in the way that it's a challenge and you need to... Well, yeah, so, you know, sometimes there'll be guessing games. You know, I've got a little game up my sleeve, which hopefully you two are going to love what, in just what a moment. Uh, more about that in a second. But there's other games like um, Way to Go, where people at an airport, I get to go through their, their cases and they've got to try and pre-guess their weight. It's so funny. It's beautiful. But the reality is, is that if you know you've got something in your case mm. that you shouldn't possibly have, I'll tell you what, if it was me and I came up to me and said, can I go through your case? I'd go, no way, go home. <laughs> but this guy let me go through his case and he had his wife there and he had his daughter there as well. She was about Is that the guy in the thing. Aston Villa shirt we saw earlier on? He was... No, that guy, <laughs> he had ham and cheese in his case because he was going to Spain. And I said, hang on a second, do they not have ham and cheese in Spain? But this, guy, this other guy with his, with his wife and, and daughter, who was about 17, 18 years old, he had a toy in his case, and I'm not talking about a toy that little Johnny would play with. 
OK. <laughs> and so I got it out the bag. No. started doing what I do with it, you know, pretending to phone a friend. <laughs> Make up your own mind what you think they get, what, what it was. But so, then he said to me, and it's the only time I thought, oh, something could go wrong with really. <laughs> He went, I think we've had enough fun with that, haven't we? <laughs> well, clearly he hadn't, because he was <laughs> taking it on holiday. <laughs> Honestly, Stephen, you've just got a, a, a wicked way with people. It's absolutely brilliant. But I've also got to talk about catchphrases. Is that coming back? Yeah, we start filming a new series. Um, I go up to Maidstone on Monday. So, yeah, so it's a brand new series coming out soon. Um, and again, th the weirdest thing about catchphrases, the only thing we had to change was, was no audience, which worked in our yeah. favour. Really? Yeah, and again, I was worried about that because I love an audience. But um, it's like playing now with the, the celebrities. It's like playing with a member of your family mm. because you can listen to them more. You can you can play along with them more. They're a bit cheekier because they said they're not worried about the audience, you know, tweeting or you know doing stuff on social media. So, so I really but, enjoyed it. Yeah. Have you done that show yet? Catch I haven't done Catch Face. You no. should try. You should it's get a tough on. show, man. And so, well, the thing is, you've so just good. you've got to go on there. With a clear mind. Yeah, you really have. Say what you say. If you've you've got to be in the zone. I it, watched yeah. one last week with Rachel Riley, Tim Vine, and Dion Dublin. And poor Dion just couldn't. Like, <laughs> yeah. Riley was a machine. She was just really? like everything. She went on a roll, yeah. didn't she? She was all over it. You sort of get on a roll, I think, do you? Sometimes. You and once you've got one, then 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 you're ready to go. And, yeah. uh, but you should come on it. You'd love it. I bet you'd be great at it. I reckon you would. You are really intelligent. Well, let's see how this me. goes first. Well, the Fine. thing is, you don't go anywhere. <laughs> Apparently, you don't go anywhere without your gold jacket, do you? Well, it's funny you should say that <laughs> because I've got my little jacket here, oh! which you'll see so, is in all its glory. Is that the jacket? I'm, I'm starstruck by it. Well, you, I, I would say touch it, but <laughs> laws don't allow. <laughs> uh, but the thing is, you'll see the real deal tomorrow night, seven o'clock. But I, I think you should play a game. I'm, I'm up for it. Are you up for this, Dermot? No, Dermot. but I'm Don't going to. Right. Come on, I'm there. Yes. Well, I'm going to take over the show. Right, right, OK, so here we go. Oh. Behind you, you'll see there's a bag, Dermot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a couple of bits in there, a couple of cones. What do I do? And also a little thing to cover you up. And also, you should... There's a pole behind there as well, Alison. Grab that, please. That's right, you start popping up on Dermot. That's That's good. Very good indeed. Right, <laughs> it's time to play live on This Morning, our own version of In For A Penny. Get yourself over here, guys. Right, Dermot, <laughs> get yourself over here. Come on. Right, Alison, over here. That's it. There's two the cones in there, Dermot. Yeah, OK. Pick the, the cones up, that's good. Yep. Because I know that the audience at home just can't wait for this. Just lie down there, Dermot. Just lie down here. I'm pleased we've put a nice mat out for you. Go a bit over there. Right. OK, Bob. That's it. And pop the cone in your mouth. This is called a gelato fun. On the show... Gelato fun. A gelato fun. Oh. Pop that in your mouth <laughs> and just stand still. Right, now, oh, pop this no. in. Oh, no! What have I got to do? Get in on it, on the cone? Right, now, yeah. You've got to try and get it on the cone. No! That's it. Go, on, a bit more. Just go for it. Yeah, I think come, I might yeah. need a bit more. Tiny, tiny bit more. Howard. Oh, dear. Right. Listen, I've really enjoyed it. this week, Alison. Go, 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 go. Oh, my God. No. no. Right. I'm going to try my three, best. Three. Try and get it on three. the cone. Go for it. Uh, no, you need to come oh, on, I'm Alison. So sorry. Oh, she's now, so Gabriella. violent with her. Sorry, I can't Now, on the off. show tomorrow night. Come on. Just try and tip it and I'll try and catch it. All right, then. Somebody no, is work. on stepladders. All right, but obviously, due to that COVID. Way, that way, that way. Now. Now, pull right, the lever. Do it. Pull, do it gently. Don't be so aggressive with it. Don't be so aggressive with the pole. That's right, I'm it. pulling the lever. You have to be quite aggressive with it. And now, slightly. Oh, come on. Right. One more. One more. Right. Come on, you can do it. Oh, Thank well, if you're you. going to do it. Oh, I'm enjoying this. You've got a very cold hang shoulder. On, hang on, hang on. No, hang but on. at least I haven't got it on your face. I'll oh, go, because I know you can do that now. No, I'm not. Oh, no, it's look really... at him. He's now, a... make sure you go I'm over think... his face. Right, is it You've got to go over his face. Is it there? No, yeah. a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. No, a bit further oh, forward. No. Forward, forward, forward. Is it there? Forward. Bit yeah. More... Bit more forward. Yeah. Uh -huh. Come on, is this gonna go? This it's is gonna go. Up. This is gonna go. This is gonna go. This is gonna go. Come oh. on. Oh, oh my God. God. He's done it. If only we had a slow-mo. They, they actually genuinely. The look. Yes, come oh on. Oh my gosh. Well come done. On. Oh. Well done. Come on, Alan. What do I win? You win absolutely nothing but the privilege to watch him for a penny <laughs> tomorrow night, seven o'clock on ITV. Yay. Oh, thank you so much, Stephen. It's so good to see you. Yeah, oh, that was good, wasn't it? Still to come, Nisha Katona is cooking a vindaloo <laughs> as you've <laughs> never seen it before. She'll be showing you it all uh, very, very soon. Isn't that right? Yes, it is. <laughs> Coming up, stay, 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 right after this. <laughs>
<laughs> no, no, no. I'm not doing it.